ski, not water ski, woohoo! What's up, kids? How are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing fantastic and having an awesome, awesome day. As you see behind me here, when I was running around there, I was yelling out that I was water skiing. And then I did a jump and all, obviously. There's no water down there, it's just grass. But you know what? It used to not be that way. In fact, this place used to be full of thousands of people that would come and watch a show called Tommy Bartlett's Water Circus. And it was an awesome, fantastic show. Just check out a little bit here. Crab, jump team, jump boats. Now line up to go over the inside ramp and through the wall of fire. Four of the very best boat drivers on the water for you today. Six times the courage. They say they can do it, and from the bottom, it's right up and right over. You know, it's hard to imagine the amount of talent it would require to land a pair of 72-inch jump skis after going over a ramp that size. Just imagine the talent required to land a tiny pair of shoe skis. And a fine job of trick riding turned in by these two today. All those 360s, the one foot back swan, and the big jump. See? Actual water skiing, actual water skiing, stunts, jumping through fiery hoops, and all that type of stuff. It was fantastic. It was amazing. Well, after a while, the popularity of the show just wasn't what it was anymore, I suppose, and so People stopped coming, the seats started to get empty, and there wasn't enough money to continue to do the show. Well, eventually, this amphitheater, the land, and then the building behind it, all became a church that I'm at. I was thinking about it today, and about how there's something inside of us, in, in our heart, in our spirit, where God is speaking to us, and he's giving us dreams and ideas, and he's giving us something called potential. Have you guys ever heard that word before, potential? It means that you have the ability to do something far beyond what you have even imagined. Now, years and years and years ago, before this was the water show, I'm sure it just looked like this. It was probably just full of trees and everything, but somebody saw that, and they saw potential. They saw the possibility of something greater than what their own eyes could see. They had a vision, an imagination, an idea. Have you guys ever thought about that? Ever thought about potential? About how God sees something in us greater than we see ourselves? Because, well, first of all, God created us, so he obviously knows our future. He knows our outcome. He knows how great we are. And God didn't create any of us mediocre or pathetic or just a little bit or just enough. No. In fact, God created each and every one of us, each and every one of you, to have an amazing potential to do something great with your life, to impact the lives of so many other people as well. That's the way that our amazing God works. I want to read a scripture for you guys here. It is Ephesians 3.20. With God's power working in us, we can do much, much more than anything that we could ever ask or think of. That's the key. With God's power working in us, we can't do things out of our own power. If we were stuck to just doing things in our own power, this is all we would be. We would just be a grassy land that has nothing. Nothing to show for it. Absolutely nothing. But look, look at this stadium. Look at all the people whose lives can be touched by your potential. If all you did was just believe that you were just this, just this field that had nothing great to offer, then these lives would never be touched. But that's not who God created you to be. God created you to be somebody who impacts the lives of thousands and millions of people. Believe it or not, God has created you with such a purpose and such a power, such an amazing calling that you can do great things. I believe in great things for this field here. It may just look like a regular grass field now, but I believe that the shows that were here before were a precedent. They were a beginning of something even greater with God's power behind it and in it and through it. It can be fantastic. I have dreams and visions of shows here, of concerts, of events, of conferences that impact the lives of children like you and their families that create a desire and a passion to love God, to follow him all the days of our lives. That's what I see. That's the potential I see. And you know what? God can see even greater potential in this place than I could ever imagine. God can see even greater potential in me than I can ever imagine. And God can see even greater potential in you than you could ever, ever, ever imagine. Just like that scripture says, we can do much, much more than we could ever think, ever imagine, ever comprehend in our brains. As long as we do it through the power of Jesus, through the power of God, we can accomplish anything because God sees such great potential in us. Where we see just a lump of coal, God sees the diamond inside. Where we see just a rock, God sees rare jewels and gold. So remember that you are rare, you are a treasure, and you have so much more potential than you could ever imagine. So don't give up, don't stop, even if you failed once, twice, or a thousand times, don't stop because God's desire for you in your life is great and his desire to change the world and impact these lives is more than you could ever imagine. That's all I have for you guys today. Love you all. God bless.